Welcome, everyone, to the State Jurisdiction Finalist Celebration, something that we haven't done before. I'm uh, Robert Mays. I'm a EASE Program Director, a National Science Foundation rotator. Been uh, working on this program for about four years. It's one of the uh, proudest things that I uh, have on my resume is that I've had the opportunity to uh, work and honor teachers. So one of the things that uh, we wanted to kind of uh, bring up is, is that this is the 40th anniversary of the program. So the next group that uh, is competing uh, is leading us right into 40 years of uh, honoring teachers. Uh, over 5,200 have been honored over that period of time. And each of you as a state finalist uh, is uh, uh, going to be uh, eligible for that award. So we're sorting through the uh, uh, the reviews and stuff now to determine uh, awardees, uh, but uh, the important thing is win or lose at the national level, you are all winners at the state level. And we so much uh, wanted to spend some time at this to, with the state and jurisdiction finalists, making sure that we uh, let you know how much we appreciate what you do and, and thank you for your work, but also uh, congratulate you on winning at the state level and the jurisdictions level. That's quite a, an impressive uh, accomplishment. So uh, during this uh, Teachers Appreciation Week, we thought we'd do a little teacher appreciation for our new uh, uh, national uh, or state awardees and jurisdiction awardees. So welcome. Um, uh, Alfred, you want to say hello and introduce yourself? Well, hello and good afternoon. Um, my name is Alfred Hall, and I'm also one of the program officers um, assigned to this incredible program. Uh, it's been a pleasure uh, just reviewing your applications and um, just getting a, aware and familiar of the outstanding work you have completed uh, in working with students all across our country and our respective jurisdictions. Uh, and I look forward to, to learning even more about your incredible work and bid again a very um, most appropriate congratulations to you on your efforts of being named state finalists in your respective areas. So I want to take a moment to uh, introduce our Deputy Division Director, uh, Germalina Tupas. Uh, she is the, uh, the DDD for the EES. That's the uh, uh, basically our STEM, STEM Education uh, Directorate at, uh, at the uh, Division, I'm sorry, at the NSF. So uh, Germalina wanted to give you a, a welcome, uh, Germalina. Thank you, Bob and Alfred. And good morning and good afternoon. Uh, I know we are in different time zones, so I hope I have covered my basis. And as uh, Bob said, my name is Germalina Tupas, and I am the Deputy Division Director for the uh, Division of Equity for Excellence in STEM, or simply EES. And as you may know, this division is charged by the White House Office of Science and Technology to oversee the management of the Presidential Award for Excellence in Science and Mathematics Teaching. It is my pleasure to bring you greetings from the National Science Foundation. And on behalf of Dr. Diana Elder, which, who is the division director for EES, and also from Dr. James Moore, our assistant director for the directorate for STEM education, where EES is housed. It is wonderful to meet you, even though it, only in a virtual environment, and to know about all your accomplishments. And I really would just simply like to congratulate you all for all the things that you have accomplished and for the honor of being your state or your jurisdiction's exemplary teachers in science and mathematics for this year. As you can see, you are all winners, as Bob said earlier, because you have reached this level and that you have the opportunity to uh, hopefully get one of the national awards from your state or jurisdiction. But what you have accomplished is already a testament to your contributions to the next generations of scientists and leaders. That's the good thing about being a teacher because you can see through generations and generations and see what has become of your students. And uh, before you know it, um, they're already leading the pack uh, because of what you have started. So we all applaud and congratulate you on being the state winners, your jurisdiction winners, and I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. And again, congratulations. Thank you, Germalina. 
So now we're going to turn it over to one of our uh, alumni to give you a little bit of a, a welcome as well. This is uh, Reggie Duncan. He was the uh, winner in 2016 of the Paints Award, uh, State of Illinois Mathematics. Reggie? Hey, Bob, I really, really appreciate that. So uh, good afternoon, everyone, and congratulations. Um, I want to make sure I make that clear to you. Congratulations. This is a very, very huge honor. Uh, I remember uh, many years ago uh, when I got the information that I was a state finalist. I'm pretty sure I remember my mother jumping up and down, uh, screaming around the house, uh, because regardless of whether or not uh, you are selected this year, uh, this is a very huge accomplishment, uh, one that I hope you all are very proud of and you celebrate with your families and your students. Um, I just wanted to share with you that, so Cindy Haselbring of NASA and I just recently returned from NSTA, uh, saw Alfred and Bob out there and we were talking to the, the audience and I remember a, a state finalist uh, actually asked the question of, well, if we do not win or if we are still waiting to hear, uh, should we reapply or what should we do? The answer is absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Apply, reapply, you know, you're gonna miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Um, but just understand that, you know, I know for many of you, uh, very familiar with the process. Uh, for me, uh, whether I want or not, now don't get me wrong, that money sure is nice, right? Yeah. Uh, let's just be, yeah. be honest, like just to be able to, I did, I told a lot of people, I can't remember the last time I spent that much time uh, truly reflecting on uh, this amazing profession that we've chosen uh, as it pertains to even the individual lessons or how I was presenting information to my students. So uh, I know it sounds a bit cliche, uh, but the reality of it is, is um, I took away so much more, uh, just being able to continue to grow and hone my craft uh, just through the process. Uh, so I would say, you know, stick with it. Uh, no matter what happens, uh, you are to be celebrated. This is a huge deal. Um, I can't wait to celebrate with you all and see you all in the future and see your different events. Uh, but take this opportunity for sure uh, to form those networks and those connections. Um, that was one of the most rewarding uh, things that I experienced uh, being a part of this incredible program uh, was the relationship building and growing your networks. I mean, and now it's no matter what it is, I can be at a conference or I get a teacher that pings me and asks me a quick question and I not going to have all those answers, right? People will come to you and expect you to be the owners of all that information. But I'm like, you know what? Give me a second and I can shoot a text uh, to somebody and get that information for them, and whether it's a resource or a program. Uh, and just really take advantage of this great network and family uh, that you are now a part of, right? So there will be a different family um, if you are obviously selected. Uh, but this already is a, is a very phenomenal group. Um, actually, it's it's it brings me great joy to be able to run into some of these faces again and again. Uh, we have some programming that we offer through our office, and it's nice uh, for me to see on a lot of the applications uh, that I'm a Paints State finalist or I'm a Paints awardee. Uh, and it's just amazing for us to be able to get you connected with other resources for you to continue to grow your practice, uh, or even let's just be real, some cool cool PD for you right and for, and for your students so i was kind of clicking through i was cheating a little bit when i hopped on i see some students with us uh please absolutely celebrate your teachers uh understand i'm sure you already knew that they were phenomenal well before this uh we know that our profession is one that you know we don't often get our roses while, while we can smell them and we know we don't do it for the recognition we don't do it for the money or anything like that uh but you know just please understand how how big of a uh a rewarding situation is this for you and um don't be shy about being celebrated like that was awkward for me i didn't want anything to do with it <laughs> they're just like oh i want you to be on the news once you do this um we are not good at, at 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 selling ourselves in that way because we don't do it for ourselves but i just really hope if your one takeaway uh is that yes you do deserve this uh and congratulations thank you reggie so we'll move on now to the, uh, we want to spend a little bit of time showing the uh, different uh, state and jurisdiction finalists, a quick read through of your first names to, uh, to let you see um, all the other teachers that were in this competition that made it to this, uh, this esteemed level of being a state or jurisdiction uh, 
finalists. So we will begin with uh, Alabama. Alabama Mathematics, we had David, Nathan, and Sherry. And Alabama Science, Melanie, Brandon, and Mary Claire. Alaska Mathematics, Robin and Lori. Arizona Mathematics, Bridget, Christy, and Johnson. Arizona Science, Sandra and Casey. Arkansas Mathematics, Laura, Morgan, and Teresa. And Arkansas Science, Christopher, Melicia, Patricia, and Mary. And for the state of California, um, an area of mathematics, congratulations go to Kristen, Cheyenne, Richard, and Jonathan. And for science in the state of California, Maria, Amber, and Samantha. For the state of Colorado in mathematics, congratulations go to Sydney and Aaron. And for science, Kimberly, Yahira, and Michael. For Connecticut in mathematics, congratulations go to Kate, Thomas, and Susan. In the area of science for Connecticut, congratulations go to Nicole, Douglas, and Joseph. For Delaware in mathematics, congratulations go to Yvette, Brittany, and Scott. And for science in the state of Delaware, we congratulate Michael. For the District of Columbia in mathematics, congratulations go to Noelani, Shalisa, and Kayla. And in the area of science, Rabia, Samantha, and Rachel. So for the DODEA schools in mathematics, Rachel and Nancy. And in science, Paul, Katrina, Nicole, and Gretchen. For the state of Florida, mathematics, Jacqueline. And in science, Amy and Alicia. In Georgia mathematics, Tiffany, Mark, and Kelly. And in science, Amy, Crystal, Rajinhi, and Heather. Hawaii mathematics, Marcella and Sarah. Hawaii science, Justin, Cynthia, Carleen. Idaho mathematics, no, no, Naomi, <laughs> Suzanne, Dwayne, and Natalie, and science, Amber, and Cameron. And for the state of Illinois, in mathematics, we have Elizabeth, Erica, and John. For science, Michelle, Aaron, and Mariana. For Indiana, in mathematics, congratulations go to Cheryl. Ella and Richard. And for science, Amanda, Jim, and Nora. In Iowa for mathematics, we have Catherine and Adam. And for Iowa in science, we have Matt, Laura, and Kira. And for the state of Kansas in mathematics, we have congratulations for Robin. And in science, we have Sarah, Jennifer, and Betsy. And now for the state of Kentucky, mathematics, we have Marcus and Benjamin. And in science, we have Matthew and Brian. In Louisiana, mathematics, we have Lainey, Lucy, and Jamie. And in science, we have Amy, Angela, and Catherine. In Maine, mathematics, we have Elizabeth. And in science, we have Diana, Martha, and Jennifer. In Maryland mathematics, we have Jessica and Joan. And in science, we have Yvonne and Carla. For the state of Massachusetts in mathematics, we have Lauren, Jacqueline, and, Ber and Benedette. And in science, we have Elsa, Kristen, and Alan. 
For Michigan in mathematics, we have Diane, Stephen, and Karen. And for science, Brian, Scott, and Lee. For Minnesota in mathematics, we have Alexis. And in science, we have Lainey, Jill, and Beth. And for the state of Mississippi in mathematics, congratulations go to Kelly, Karen, and Judith. And in science, Deborah, Lee, and Candace. In Missouri, for mathematics, we have Kelly and Shelly. And for science, we have Michelle, Alice, and Sherry. For Montana mathematics, Levi and Brooke. And for science, Megan, Stephen, Linda, and Sarah. For Nebraska mathematics, we have Angela and Arnold. And for science, we have Kristen, Rhea, and Jennifer. For Nevada in mathematics, we have Denise. And in science, we have Corwin and Jasper. For New Hampshire in mathematics, we have Sandra. And in science, we have Joanne and Karen. New Jersey in mathematics, we have Benjamin and Gina. And in science, we have Anjuna, Lillian, and Arun. For New Mexico, in mathematics, we have Kimberly. And in science, we have Debbie, Amanda, and Christopher. In New York, in mathematics, we have Sharon, Elizabeth, and Scott. And in science, we have Danielle, Maria, and Cher Shing. In North Carolina, mathematics, we have Austin, Leah, and Shannon. And in science, we have Brandon, Christy, and Sarah Elizabeth. In North Dakota, mathematics, we have Daniel and Sarah. In Ohio, mathematics, we have Joshua, Shante, Anna, and Tara. And in science, we have Annette, Zachary, and Karen. In Oklahoma, mathematics, we have Charity. And in science, we have Carrie and Heather. For Oregon, in mathematics, we have Krishnan. And in science, we have Catherine, Nicholas, and Stacy. In Pennsylvania, for mathematics, we have Michelle and Lori. And in science, we have Dylan, Justine, and Andrea. In Puerto Rico, for science, we have Sandra, Diana, and Jorge. And for Rhode Island in mathematics, we have Marissa, Carrie, and Stephen. And in science, we have Amy. In South Carolina mathematics, we have Susan and Laura. And in science, we have Kirsten and Sarah. In South Dakota mathematics, we have Brittany, Allison, and Megan. And in science, we have Michelle, Kristen, and Landra. In Tennessee mathematics, we have Emily and Amber. And in science, we have Mike and Jessica. And in Texas mathematics, we have Sarah, Michelle, Tim, and Sarah. And in science, we have Jamie, Crystal, and Voke. Voke. <laughs> For the US jurisdictions in mathematics, we have Andre. Eden, and Edison. And in science, we have Danielle, Marifi, Yasmin, and Natasha. For Utah, in mathematics, we have Melissa, Karen, and Todd. And in science, we have Joanne and Wesley. For Vermont, in mathematics, we have Michelle, Thomas, and Brian. And for science, we have Ronald, Alan, and Nicole. 
In Virginia, for mathematics, we have Emily Yvette and Ashley Prickett. In science, we have Timothy and Eric. Washington, mathematics is Sarah. And science is Rama, David, and Anthony. West Virginia mathematics, we have Amy, Jennifer, Karina, and Michelle. Carrie Ann. Alice, uh, for science, we have Allison, Tina, and Dana. For Wisconsin in mathematics, we have Elizabeth, Corey, Aaron, and Mary. And for science, we have Miranda, Randall, and Cindy. And for Wyoming in mathematics, we have Emmy and Rick. And in science, we have London and Charity. Again, that concludes um, the pronunciation uh, and announcements of our state <laughs> finalists from our states and U.S. jurisdictions. Again, we extend a heartfelt congratulations to you for reaching this incredible level of recognition for your hard work, dedication, and service to your students in schools all across our nation. Um, and we are proud as part of the National Science Foundation in partnership with the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy uh, to implement this, uh, this process to recognize you for these achievements you have so well been, uh, you have so well received. Um, we will now transition into the next phase of our session in which our colleague, uh, Sam Rustenberg, um, will lead you through a breakout session and discussions from